You've probably seen a movie or show where the bad guy shines a laser into a security camera to disable it. Today, we're going to test if this works in real life, and if so, are there any methods we can use to mitigate it? The laser pointer I'm using is a standard 5 milliwatt green laser pointer from Amazon. This is the highest power we could buy, since lasers with an output greater than 5 milliwatts are banned from sale in Canada under the Canada Consumer Product Safety Act. We have a Uniview security camera mounted outside our office, which should make for a realistic test subject. Let's try shining the light directly into the camera and see what happens. First, I'm going to try to disable the security camera with a laser pointer while holding it handheld. This would probably be the first thing that someone would try if they're trying to disable your security camera. So let's give it a shot. As you can see, I'm trying my very, very best to hold it right in the middle of the lens. So I gave it my best shot for about two minutes. Now let's go back inside and see if we did any damage to the camera. So let me open up Easy Station and see what happened to the camera. I'm going to go to playback and check on this camera here. And that would have been about 10 minutes ago. And I'm trying so hard to get it in there. <laughs> My face looks uh, quite focused. But you can see that the laser is actually going into the camera's lens. And uh, it's obviously causing some flashing, but the camera seems to be working fine after all that. So if we skip ahead a little bit, we can see that the camera looks fine. I don't see any dead pixels or darker spots. So it looks like we're not able to disable the camera uh, handheld using the laser pointer. Now we're going to go back out and mount the laser pointer to a tripod and see if we can disable the camera that way. So let's go. So we're back out here and now I have the laser pointer connected to a tripod and I have a small rubber band here that I can actually use to trigger the laser pointer and it will just stay on forever. So what I'm going to do is aim the laser pointer up to the camera and I'm going to check on my phone to make sure that we're actually hitting in the right spot. See, the thing is, if someone was trying to disable your security camera, they wouldn't really be able to tell if it's perfect or not. That's true. But in this case, we can see that it's, it's pretty much bang, pretty on. bang on. Yeah. So let's leave it for like five minutes and see what happens. But it's definitely a lot worse of an image than compared to before. Mm. And the final result is that the image looks actually the same as before. I cannot see any issues with the camera, as you can see. So even though we've shined the laser pointer in there for about seven minutes, and we got it directly onto the sensor, we cannot see any damage. After testing, we found that we were able to temporarily blind the security camera by shining the laser pointer directly into the sensor. However, fully disabling the camera proved to be much more difficult. Not only was the camera still recording afterwards, but the image was almost completely unaltered. Upon closer inspection, we did find a small blotch of red pixels, which was not there before. However, this did not significantly affect the general image quality. Overall, Shining a laser pointer into a security camera is not an easy way to disable it. Not only did it take us several minutes to perfectly aim the laser into the lens, but the only way for us to verify that we had in fact blinded the camera was by checking the live view on our smartphone. If a criminal tried to do this to your cameras, they would have no way of knowing if the camera was blind or not. And if there were multiple cameras, then they would be spotted either way. 
This concludes our testing of laser pointers and security cameras. We hope you found this video helpful. Please be sure to subscribe and like if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.